Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you the five top apps that you can use to translate anything while you're traveling or simply want to use to translate on your iPhone. So let's get started. Now, this is going to be something where these tools are something you want to have in order to be able to translate anything. So first thing is we're going to go ahead with the number one. It's going to be the built-in Apple's Translate app itself. It's already on your iPhone. If you didn't know, it allows you to go ahead and translate. The language is available here. Now, as you can see here, it's kind of limited in terms of what you can translate, but you can translate it here in both in speech and also in text as well. You can also take the camera option if you wanted to scan something and you can change the language there. Or if you're having a conversation, you can speak to it in one language and it will speak to them in another language again this feature has gone a lot away in this app that apple has developed and we're expecting a lot more from it so if you don't want to download any other apps you can just use the built-in one now sometimes it might not be as reliable so you might want to consider another app and that's where google translate comes in again google translate has been around for some time and it's even more powerful because it has similar feature and you might can do as you can see here from the languages option you might find a little bit more languages to translate from and to as you can see here it's a lot more extensive than the regular translate app and even when it comes to translating as you can see here i have a lot more option available and you also have the conversation mode you just allow the access mic and you also have the camera mode as well you just have to allow the access and you can use your camera to point at something to translate it as well so all of the features that are available on apple's translate google already also has it as well and it has a little bit more languages for you to do so those are going to be probably the two top apps that you're going to be utilizing now if you want to go a little bit further to get another app you might consider something like a translator this is another popular app that's can be used as well if you find this to be a little bit more easier to use for some people as you can see here you can translate to different languages available just in case you couldn't find the language from the other one you can try this one as well and you can speak to it as well you can type in text as well moving on to the next one is i translate again another app some somewhat again useful in terms of how you are able to do some of the dictation and as you see here this app does require you to pay if you want to but there are freer options if you don't want to just say you don't and then you'll have the option to go offline mode as well it can detect languages you have the same thing as a camera option that's available for you you have the voice as well and then the phrase and other as well another app to consider if you didn't like the other one app and then there's another translator app what's called translator with speech this one's a little bit more focused in terms of being able to do more around the speech as well here there is a little bit of ad on this one that you'll have to deal with but again this one works well as well but if you really wanted to go down and check these apps out again for each purpose is going to be slightly different on the app store you can find these again as i mentioned the built-in apple's translator google translate microsoft translate and then you have iTranslate and Translator with Speech. So these are the five apps you're going to be using. And as an added bonus, you can also get Siri to sometimes translate certain phrases if you don't know. For example, I'll use something simple like, Hey Siri, say hi in Spanish. In Spanish, hi is hola. So it's basically we'll use the Translate app in order to translate certain things for you but not all things so you can also try those as an option so that's it for translating i hope these tools help you guys be able to better translate uh, any language you're looking to tr uh, translate and if so please consider in the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone and other ios devices we'll see you guys next time